So we're just coming off a basic bust of Amazon Prime Day. Well, at least for us in North America, specifically in the United States. Now, I know other countries like Canada or even Australia, even Europe had some really banger deals. But for us here in the U.S., I feel like we had some super lackluster. Some would even say below lackluster. But in today's video, I wanted to make a quick recap of some of the scraps that are left over that I still think are relative good buys. And I actually bought some of these myself, so I figured it's worthwhile to share with you guys because if I'm buying, it must mean there's probably a good deal and I hope to share that experience with you guys. So if you're interested in learning about the latest LEGO deals that are still around, let's jump straight into it what's up everybody i'm your host Crizo here from stud city what else to talk about from a long day working in the rice fields than the lego deals i'm just i'm just so so much enjoying vietnam i love my hat too it's coming home with me anyways let's get straight on into it the first one i have here pulled up is the clone uh trooper and battle droid battle pack set wow that is such a mouthful um i feel like it's just clone versus droid battle pack i think that's probably a better name uh anyways you can see right here last purchased october 9th aka this guy's birthday had a ball out i only picked up 10 copies don't tell the missus who just overheard that um but yeah a swift 10 copy pickup i i know this is not a deep clearance set but i'm gonna be honest here i've been waiting for this set to go down to 24 dollars. i think that's a great price point um i'm already know the comments user 345 is already commenting like well cristo dun, dun, dun. walmart has these for the same price and you get four dollars back but the, the problem with that is, yeah, absolutely get your single copy, but that is limited to one coupon per account. So you are kind of restrained to only getting one copy. I obviously just said I ordered 10 copies of this. I would not be able to do that from uh, Walmart. So that is why I still think this is a better deal. You can order in abundance. So 24 bucks for this bad boy. Um, I'll go ahead and link all the sets we talk about in the description below. They will be affiliate links. So if you do decide to order, um, I do appreciate it. It helps out the channel significantly. So thank you for that. Um, but anyways, it's I'm doing it for the ease of talking about you set today as well uh, but yeah that's that's the first one fantastic set i'm probably going to be building a small army uh because i thoroughly enjoyed this battle pack i thought it was a really good one and i'm so happy to add some more super battle droids into my personal collection uh, another one that's kind of been lingering here is the spider tank um which I, if i'm not mistaken is set to retire at the end of the year i i have to double check that i don't know off the top of my head regardless whether it is or isn't, uh, I feel like it's a pretty deep clearance price point of 36% off. Um, obviously, I'm going to argue it could definitely go lower. Um, getting only three minifigs, um, Jinjar and uh, Mandalorian, Grogu, and then Bo-Katan, which I think the Bo-Katan minifig is absolutely fantastic. Her arm printing in here is so good. Um, I love that minifig. I absolutely love it. I actually don't have this set yet, uh, and I've been super on edge on ordering it at this price point so do me a favor let me know do you think it'll go cheaper or do you think this is a good price point um and i'll probably base that on base that buy based on what you guys say in the comments below i feel like it's it's kind of it's right there like i'm like ugh, super hesitant so that's one i'm like super on edge of picking up um we only have I, I'm, if i'm not mistaken this one is retiring here at the end of 2024 so i'm like really hesitant like i don't want to miss out on it because i really want that Pokéton minifigure um and i even do like her hair piece without her helmet so uh, 31 bucks for that off the 50 dollar price tag i think it's like more than fair uh fair price point i think the set is pretty bad and obviously i think the set was extremely late um to being produced after the show was released like the set came out like a whole what almost year after the show was produced so super odd on that release day but uh, uh it is what it is so moving forward we also have the coruscant guard gunship this is kind of love hate set for most people i personally really enjoyed it i thought it came with some pretty solid minifigures um a couple of them i know uh, honestly weren't very well printed or you know the helmets with the holes bother a lot of people but regardless i still really much enjoyed the build even if it is smaller than some of the predecessor um gunships that were made in past years we're just living in a different era so uh it's hard to compare sets going back right like i i always find that struggle so <clears throat> anyways thousand eight three pieces here uh this one's 20 percent off or 112 dollars off that original msrp price of 140 um don't get me wrong will it go cheaper Probably, considering it got extended into 2025, but uh, I am putting that one, if anyone's been waiting out for a sale for this one, um, it's not a bad price point, or even if you're looking for early Christmas shopping, that is not a bad price point for a really solid Lego set. I think that's extremely well fair priced. And then even if carrying down the Star Wars theme here, we have the TANF, uh, boarding the TANF 4 here. Uh, this one was new for 2024. I believe it was in uh, March or April release, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, came with those six minifigs and then an exclusive um, ARC Trooper 5s. 
Uh, $55, which is atrocious in the price point. However, it is 20% off or $44 price tag uh, here on Amazon. Uh, and I believe if you do order on Walmart for your single copy, I think there's an $8 or a $4 coupon code as well, driving that price point a little bit different. Um, so <clears throat> pick your poison there, whether you want it on Amazon or Walmart. Um, hope, hope that helps. I'll try to link both of those um, in the description below so you can kind of choose which one you want to go with. But still, regardless, uh, a set that's pretty much well new you know only maybe six seven eight months uh into the market already going pretty heavily clear in sale that's pretty nice for a star wars set uh moving into other themes i know this one's been kind of popular in the marvel world i guess um the avengers quinjet i don't know jack squat about <laughs> superheroes or marvel or even dc um but i know a good price when i see one seeing this bad boy at um you know 795 pieces 800 pieces for 60 dollars and featuring you know marvel ip licensed and an assortment of what five minifigures that's probably not a terrible price point for the 60 dollar lego set um definitely beats paying the hundred dollars 40 percent off on that one pretty deep clearance uh that was during prime day as well but that's uh, still kind of lingering uh this one was also during prime day and it's still lingering i went ahead and personally ordered a copy i believe i ordered mine on target as the deal was just up before amazon um however it it to be honest it didn't really matter which way i went um the price point was just too good i already had a sealed copy of this one but i'll be picking up this one because they had the formula uh formula one here the mercedes i figured it'd be worthwhile especially with uh, lego extending their formula one licensing into 2025 i think it'd be nice to get a head start on some of the speed champions that are currently on the market um so i'm really excited about building this one i'll probably build this when i get back um really excited about that one so 19 dollars 59 or basically 10 dollars a speed champion car um that truly brings me back to uh, I don't know, the 2019 eras? Not even, like 2019, the six stud wide set, uh, sets were like 15 bucks for a car, but uh, when they went on sale, they were like 10 bucks. So in all truthfulness, 10 bucks for a speed champion is a steal in my eyes. Super excited about that one. Um, if you're trying to get into this theme or just dabbling in it, I do recommend a set like this. These two packs are super fun. Uh, they can't go wrong. They're such a joy to build. So definitely check that one out. Uh, here's the Starry Night, which has been sitting at this $150 price threshold for quite some time or 12% off. Uh, I'm bringing this one up because I'm personally looking out for it for quite some time, um, but I'm still waiting out. So I'm not talking, you know, we got to talk about the good and the bad, right? Um, I know this one's on sale. I've seen a lot of questions and comments like, hey, should I pick this up at this price point or will it go lower? I'm going to be honest here. I'm waiting out for a better deal. Like not everything you see is a great deal. So I'm personally waiting out. I think we can get this one under 110. That's kind of my hopes and goal. I know that's ambitious, but that's what I'm waiting out for. And I'll keep you updated and as if we can get there. Uh, we also have the Disney uh, camera, the tribute to Disney. This is a hundred dollar Lego set. It retailed in March, released in March uh, of 2024. So this year, fairly new Lego set at $100. Comes with that exclusive uh, minifig there. And then you do get Bambi and Dumbo, which is pretty cool molding and cool, pretty cool prints. Um, I do love that. Also, of course, getting Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Um, and they're like white and black suits. Uh, $70 for that one or 30% off. I feel like that's a nice discount on a pretty iconic Lego set. Um, so definitely take advantage of that one. I can't imagine that deal lasts forever. So if you've been waiting out for that one, make sure to pick it up. Um, and same thing with uh, this retiring soon icons, a dried flower centerpiece. I feel like this is a total fall Lego set and I wouldn't be surprised once fall kind of, uh, we roll into October here, this set get, disappears from the clearance aisle. Um, it is $27.99, so $28 or 44% off, which is astronomical uh, considering the set retailed at $50. Very, very good price point for that one. Make sure to take advantage uh, before fall is kind of over. Uh, this one kind of surprised me seeing the uh, Series 26 Space Minifigs on sale. Uh, this is a six pack and there's that pink little Benny in there, uh, but 20 bucks for a six pack or 33% off, not a bad price point. Um, bunch of different assortment of Space Minifigs. Pretty cool series if you ask me. And then a couple other sets, we had the 20% off the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle Grounds. Huge, massive castle. It's been sitting at this price point for a little bit. Um, I don't know if it'll go deeper clearance than that, but uh, I know I've seen some comments about this one, so I thought I'd bring it forward. And it's sitting here at 20%. Um, not a bad price point for a pretty large scale micro build, if that makes any sense. And the last one, I'll always say this, um, the advent calendar for Star Wars, as well as the ad other advent calendars on the market. I'm just bringing up the Star Wars one because that's one I'm personally interested in. Um, but sitting here at 20% off for $36, um, I feel like this likely should have been the starting price point, $35 or even $30. Um, so I feel like that's just simply a fair priced set. Um, not, not really a huge deal. But I will say, um, on the contrary, these sets are 
pretty much very difficult to find. It's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they're in abundance, sometimes they're difficult to find depending on the year um, and inventory levels. But um, when Christmas times rolls around, it's super hard to predict whether there's gonna be an abundance of inventory or a lack of inventory. And I don't know, this year's kind of thrown me for a loophole. Uh, it's very, very hard to tell if what, 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 we're, what we're up against. But I'm gonna be safe here and probably pick up a copy in the next couple of weeks or so because I would love to build this on the 25 day countdown till Christmas. Um, and on top of that, this is like every um, year of Lego Star Wars, which I had found in MNR Productions video or in his comment section. I think he put it on his story, um, which was really, really cool. So like each one of these builds was like every single year uh, a Lego Star Wars, um, which I think is absolutely amazing. I don't want to go too far into it. I'm sure there's a channel out there like MNRs or someone else's who's much better at going into each year these Lego sets were released. But uh, if you want to see that video, let me know and maybe we can make something up for that. But uh, anyways, uh, a couple other things I want to talk about was Walmart. Walmart had a few deals. They also were like price matching some of the Amazon sets. So if you prefer Walmart, make sure to check those guys out. Um, two sets that I wanted to just really briefly talk about. One was the Airbus at $160. I thought that was a decent price point. I know Target had this one cheaper um, during their Target sales week. Uh, however, that deal sold out fairly quick and uh, is not available at this point in time. But uh, if you're still missed out and still want a halfway decent deal on it, it is available on Walmart. On top of that, we also have the Lego Hogwarts um, Harry Potter Express, the Hogwarts Express, the UCS one, the huge one. Uh, that's a $500 Lego set and it's on sale for $400, aka 20% off on Walmart. That's pretty deep. Um, you can also stack up Rakuten, which I think they have five or 10% on um, on walmart.com, which is pretty awesome. Uh, if you're new to Rocket Sand, you can use, sign up in the link in the description. You get like 30 bucks on top of it for signing up. Huge thank you if you decide to use that. This is an affiliate link, so I do appreciate that. But regardless, I did go ahead and build this Hogwarts Express. Um, fairly new when it came out, and uh, this set is absolutely beautiful to look at. I have it on display currently in my house, and. Uh, it is just gorgeous, right? It's absolutely crazy in scale. Um, so I don't expect like a super scaled realistic set, um, but if you want a fun build and something amazing to look at, this is definitely a really cool one. Uh, aside from that, that's gonna wrap up our lingering Amazon Prime Day deals. Again, like I said, I'll link all of those in the comments below. Let me know if you're gonna be picking up these sets or if you're waiting out for better deals. I know there's more deals coming, so get your credit cards ready and uh, stay tuned for more updates. Anyways, love you guys. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I'm Chris from Sun City. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.